Welcome to my tutorial. Electrical Made Simple. Part 1. Kilowatt Hour Meter Wiring. Kilowatt Hour Meters are devices that measure the energy used in a single or three phase line circuit. The Kilowatt Hour Meter is a compact electrical and electronic monitoring device. It acts as a KWH calculator, according to consumption. Different types of KWH meters are used. This is the analog meter that was used in earlier days. A needle is used to indicate the measurements. Electromechanical meters. These meters are replaced in the place of analog meters. This is very easy to read because Digits are used to indicate the values. Depending upon the usage, the readings ranges are available from 0 to 1000 and 0 to 10,000. Digital and electronic meters are now being used by replacing the old version analog and electromechanical meters. Multifunction meters. These meters are used for special purpose. Different load values are available on this meter, such as voltage, frequency, power factor, current, watt, and kilowatt hour. Two types of KWH meters are used in domestic applications, such as reading the values through direct connection and indirect connection. Direct connection method. These types of meters are used in buildings where consumption is less than 100 ampere in single and three-phase supplies. Power supply from the utility power connects directly to the meter and from the meter it is going to distribution boards. The details of direct connections are given in this picture. This shows the method of single-phase connection. The power comes from the utility power source connecting to the meter through the protection fuse from the meter, it is going to the distribution boards. Phase in neutral is connecting through the meter. Three phase meter connection is also given in the same way. In three phase, the phase sequence is to be checked and connect properly. Otherwise, the meter shall fail or run slow. Indirect connection method. Such meters are used only in three phase power supplies where the consumption is more than 100 amps. Current transformers are used in each phase to detect current usage. The output connections of the current transformer are connected to the meter with its phase as shown in the figure. Here, we can see that the main power cable is not connecting directly to the meter. The power is going through a current transformer, CT. This current transformer senses the current flow. The flow would depend upon the usage of power. The variable current shall be available in S1 and S2. These cables are connected to the meter along with the same power. CT have a polarity position that is called P1 and P2. Please be noted that the CT should be placed in the correct position to work properly. The S1 and S2 of the CT must be connected properly with the same phase sections of the KWH meter. Please be sure 
to connect S1 and S2, of all CTs, in the correct order, otherwise, the meter will stop, or slow down. Neutral wire also connects, after all CT connections. A total of 10 wires are connecting, to the KWH meter including neutral. Kilowatt hour calculations. The simple way of KWH calculation, is provided here, as an example. KWH equals watt into hour used divided by 1000. Example. 60 watt power, working 5 hours per day. That is, 60 into 5 equals 300 watt hour per day. Means, 300 divided by 1000 equals 0.3 kilowatt hours per day. Which is, 0.3 into 30 days equals 9 kilowatt hours per month. That is, 9 units of power, per month. Thank you for watching my videos. Subscribe to the channel, to get more videos and updates.